Hey everyone, so we had a lot of support tickets regarding how to use copy paste um, and I wanted to make a quick demonstration of that even though this isn't like a, a flow anybody's necessarily going to build it should show you how something like this is going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'll do, I'll do two different things here. We're going to scrape this text and then I'm going to go ahead and paste that text inside this input as just a demonstration of using that. And then we're also gonna go to, let's say, google.com afterwards and paste our search there too. So let's jump into the app. Okay, so if I go ahead and recapture my build here, I'm gonna use the guided mode. And we are going to be starting on taskmagic.com slash howto. So let's enter that here and save step. And then let's record a scrape text or scrape single as this is um, this is us grabbing one small thing from the page. Instead of us wanting to scrape like a list of followers or a list of people, um, this is if we want to grab one single thing. Let's say their name, the follower count, their bio, um, whatever we want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and trace over the browser window will capture your steps click that and we'll see that that was captured here. So I'll confirm this click and then let's go ahead and record a type step. And this is where we're gonna enter whatever we want, whatever we scrape. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and enter something random and then I'll confirm that. Then after confirming it, we can go ahead and make this our variable. Now, the example that I have here, I have a Google Sheet connected, you probably don't. So ignore if you don't have these variables, you'll probably only see the at step two. These are variables that are coming from either you setting up your webhook trigger or your Google Sheet trigger. So once we save those, what this is going to do is this is going to go to taskmagic.com slash howto. It's going to scrape this text in the middle of the screen, and then it's going to paste that text um, in this input right here. Then what we can also do is let's add another step that is going to go ahead and take this to a different page and still use the variable. So I went ahead, added this go to page step. I'm gonna click the play icon so that it goes there. Apologies if you can hear the bike outside. And then we're gonna record another type step in this input, Oops. whatever we want. And we will replace this with the same thing. So there's no change if we wanted to use it on a different website, it's still the same exact thing. I'll go ahead and play this just so you guys can see how this works. It's gonna first go to taskmagic.com slash howto, then it's gonna scrape whatever we selected on the page, and then wherever we use that at step two is where it's gonna put what we scraped. So we'll see here, it's gonna trace the text that I captured there, then it's gonna paste it or type it very fast and then it'll go to google.com and it'll do the same thing here. So this works whether it was a variable or whether it was us scraping something. And this is how you can build those like messenger bots uh, and things like that that are using data from Google Sheets or webhooks to build out your automation.